Good morning, Facebook. Just gonna jump on really quick. I don't know how many of you guys that I will catch, but I'm gonna wait just a second. To the heart, take me on a journey. Get lost in you. Come on in. I'm gonna talk real quick. I've been thinking through this, I'm praying through this, and I wanna share this with you real fast. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning. Drink up my juice. How are you all this morning? Let me know uh, where you're, hey, there you are. Hey, Ashley, there's a little delay. It's always weird on here. Lindsay, <clears throat> Doris, hello. Hey, Susan, good morning. Janet, good morning. <clears throat> See the prize. Listen to this part. Hey, Amy, listen to this. Awesome. You can comment, Rainy. Yeah, this was awesome. Hey, Marie. <clears throat> it is a beautiful morning after the rains last night. Woo! Water and citrus oil, good. Okay. What's up, Brian? Let's talk about peace for a second. Hold on. I gotta turn my music off. Man, jamming out the head to the heart uh, by um, United Pursuit Band. Oh, so dang good. Chase Harrison. All right, <clears throat> real quick. Not a long, um, not a long Facebook Live message. I just wanted to share with you guys real quick something that the Lord had totally laid on my heart um, that I wanted to tell you. Um, I'm riding into, into, into work today. <clears throat> Sydney had taken the kids uh, to school, uh, and so um, I uh, I'm riding in. And it got me thinking about, I was in my Land Cruiser and I was, I was, uh, uh, there was a police officer that went the other way, like a highway patrol. This has a point, I promise. And so I was like, I looked down at my registration sticker to make sure that it was updated because it made me remember and it took me back to last fall in the middle of um, like us, like doing all stuff in the office and blah, 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 and all these things. I had forgotten to renew <clears throat> my registration sticker. Hey, Lori. So when I forgot to renew my registration sticker, it ended up going, I went about a couple of months past when I should have renewed it. And um, the thing about that was everything else was fine. I could be driving the speed limit, but when I was driving, when I was going around town, no matter where I was going, I was unsettled. I didn't have peace the whole time. And I was nervous because if I got stopped, <clears throat> if I got stopped, then I was gonna get a ticket. And the only thing that was wrong with the whole car the only thing, the only thing that was wrong, it's a 96, Lauren. The only thing that was wrong was that one sticker. The one thing that was throwing off the entire integrity of my car and my integrity for that matter because I hadn't um, done all the things I needed to do in order for me to have peace, okay? So I got to thinking about that and I was like, man, how much is that like life when there's only like one or two things that are really off, you're, you're rocking, you know, your other areas of life, you're doing good, but you just don't have peace. Like there's just something, like you don't feel settled. Well, when you get that feeling and you don't have peace, um, you know, Sydney and I talk about this with you guys a lot. No peace means no decision. Like no peace means you don't do anything. You don't have peace. You don't move ahead. You don't, you don't have peace. You do nothing until you come to a point in which you have 100% peace in knowing what you need to do in the Father and that you're walking exactly where he needs you to be. It doesn't have to make sense. You don't have to understand it, so don't confuse being unsettled with um, unsure. Does that make sense? Like, huh, I don't even really know what I'm doing, but hey, I have peace because I know that the Lord wants me to go this way. Do you know? Do you understand what I'm saying, the difference on that? So I want to read you a couple of verses around a verse that you guys hear all the time. Um, no peace is always hard to deal with. Lord, that is it. No peace is always no fun, and no peace always makes you feel off. And so when you get that, stop. Don't keep moving, don't keep going, don't keep doing anything, and you stay where you're at until you get until you get the next uh, the next directive that the Lord wants you to do. So I'm going to read you a couple of verses uh, just this morning. This is out of Philippians four. Philippians four is a powerhouse chapter. Oh my gosh! Like we could sit here on Philippians four and we could talk for weeks on all the stuff that's found in Philippians four. But a couple of things I wanted to give you out of Philippians four about peace that is amazing to me, but it gives you the equation of how to get it. Uh, is in Philippians 4, um, let's see, Philippians 4, uh, verses 4 through 9. 
Okay, four through nine. So I'm going to give you a couple of things in here. So bear with me. Ready? Okay, Philippians 4, 4. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Always, it says. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything. Watch this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, this is, and then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Then the verse right after that gives you the equation to keep that peace. So it shows you what to do to really build up the peace. We'll talk about it again. Then it gives you what to do afterwards in order to keep the peace. It's just like fitness or it's just like health. Right? Like there's things to do to get it, but there's things you got to do to keep it. Does that make sense? Like to have a really good relationship, there's things you got to do to build it, and there's things you got to do to keep it that way and to keep it healthy. But we treat our relationship with the Father, we treat our spiritual life a lot like we do our health, a lot like we do our fitness. Right? So we work out, we do all this stuff, we're like crazy on board, woo! And then we let down because we get busy or because we get upset or because something bad happens or we get mad or whatever. Okay, so our spiritual life is the same as any of the other. It's literally all of those things are physical representations of the spiritual truth of achieving what the Lord has for us, but then maintaining and keeping it and keeping that intimacy with him and keeping that connection. All right, verses eight through nine, this is how to keep that peace. You ready? Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, this is in Jesus, practice these things, watch, practice these things, and it says, and and then the God of peace will be with you. Okay, let's back up a second. It gives us two things. We skip all this and we read this like, oh, it's just so nice things to say in church. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. It's more than that. And there's literal uh, steps uh, that it gives us in order to achieve it. You ready? Okay, so to achieve the peace, to get to the peace, there's a few things it says. It says rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. Okay, that's number one. It says, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. So let people know what's going on. Let people know what the Father is teaching you. Telling your story, telling your testimony, okay? Then it says, do not be anxious, but in prayer and supplication uh, and with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So don't be anxious, but by praying and coming to the Father and being thankful for what we have, being having gratitude, right? Walking in gratitude, let him know what you need. Then when you let him know what you need, you're not worrying about it because you're giving it to him, all right? Um, you're praying about it the whole time and you're thankful. You're thankful where you are because uh, the father not answering one of your prayers to a certain thing is him answering it a different way. So I want you to make sure and remember just because I posted this song uh, from Lauren Daigle um, the other day called Trust in You. And the song is all about I will trust in you even when the, the way that you answer my prayer isn't the way I thought it would look. Even when the things I have to walk out uh, isn't exactly what I thought it would look like. Hi, Kelly. Uh, even when the road I'm walking on isn't where I thought I would be walking on. Does that make sense? Like that's what the song goes through. And that's what this is talking about. You're thankful before he gives you peace. You're thankful. You're praying. You're going through supplication with him, which is bringing things to him. Before the peace, he doesn't give you, here's what we do backwards. We want all the peace so that then we'll talk to him. We want all the peace. Hey, Lord, just give me peace. Give me peace. And then I will connect with you. That's not what he says. He says, uh, he says, um, you know, don't be anxious. Stop stressing out. Bring me everything that you need. Be thankful. Then I'll give you peace. The verse after that, uh, the verse after that, uh, says uh, he'll give you peace. Then, okay, after you've got the peace, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, and until you have peace that doesn't make sense, you don't have peace. I'm going to say that again. I think I'm going to drop a mic on that. I think I'm going to drop a mic. What? Until you have peace that makes no sense, then you don't have God's peace. Not 100% of it. If you're like, okay, I think that's okay. I think we're good. I, th- I think I figured it out. 
and you don't have peace that really like kind of mind boggles you like, hey, I don't know why, but I'm totally peaceful. If you don't have that, then it's not from God. It's not 100% for him yet. And you need to take some more time to really figure out if that's where he wants you to be, go do, if that's the person he wants you to be with or whatever. Does that make sense? He is, Patty. He is a good, good father, right? That's who he is. That's who he is. That's what the song says. I love it. Okay, so here, remember, verse 8 and 9 shows you how to keep it. Once you get the peace, here's how you keep it. You work on your brain. You work on your mind. You work on your thoughts. This is the point he gives us in here. It's like, in order to keep the peace, in order to literally walk in the peace, we have to change our brain, and we have to practice these things, it says. Watch. Verses 8. Whatever is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, whatever is of excellence, whatever is praiseworthy. Think about that. Whatever is praiseworthy, think about these things. You know, are the things that you're stressing about praiseworthy? Are the things that you're thinking of that are really like sitting in your brain, are they praiseworthy? Are they noble? Are they pure? Like, if they're not then that's how you're losing the peace. Are you hearing me on this? Oh man, come on. Bam! You're losing your peace because you're allowing your brain to think and brew and um, and settle on things that are not pure, not holy, not commendable, not just, not of the Father. So focusing on him in that is how you keep the peace. Because then it says in verse 9, what you have learned, watch this, what you have learned, received, heard and seen learned received heard and seen i need to do another video on this i mean this is intense learned received heard and seen okay then it says practice these things practiced these things it doesn't say hear these things and go about the ways of which thy thinks you should go it says all the four things the things that you have learned received, heard, and seen, practice these things. That's the formula. Practice these things, right? Practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. He'll walk with you, and that peace, that covering will stay with you the entire time. Dude, I'm, I am, uh, I'm praying for you guys today. I'm praying that you not only uh, hear from the Father, learn from the Father, um, get revelation from the Father, see the Father, I'm praying that you not only get all of that, but that you practice what you get. You practice what he's preaching to you, and you practice what you've been given. And in that practice, you're going to make progress. In that practice, practice yields peace. Practice brings peace. Praise, thanksgiving, walking it out brings that peace, and it keeps it there. Uh, I think uh, so many of the times you're chasing peace like you're chasing, chasing a weight level. We all want to be at whatever weight and your weight fluctuates all over the place because we work out, we eat good, and then we eat junk. Work out, eat good, then we eat junk. Well, spiritually, you know, we, we are praiseworthy. We get all intense about worshiping him and then we get busy and we're doing okay and so then we just let go of it. Uh, then we get busy and we just kind of rock on and we just don't stay consistent with it. And then that peace, that mantle of peace is taken off of us, okay? So stick with it. Change your brain, practice what you learn, find the peace, walk in the peace, keep the peace. Love you guys. Bless you today. Have a fantastic day.